According to the Department of Justice, nearly 80% of sexual assaults in this country go unreported. Even more alarming, statistics show that no more than 5% of those cases actually result in a conviction for those crimes. Victims who do come forward often suffer emotional trauma and worry about retaliation from their alleged attackers. That is what happened to a 15-year-old girl from Pittsfield after she alleged that she was sexually assaulted by a family friend three years ago. News Center's Vivian Lee joins us now with more. Vivian? Rob and Cindy, uh, it's not our policy by News Center to identify alleged victims of sexual assault, but Emma Danskin contacted us. Although her case was dismissed, the teenager hopes sharing her story will encourage other young sexual assault victims to come forward to authorities. Emma Danskin hopes by speaking publicly about the horrible things that happened to her, she will finally begin to heal. It's just, this is a, something too much to carry on for the rest of my life, knowing that he wasn't put in jail and that he could do this to more girls. And it just, it hurts. It really hurts. Emma says she was sexually assaulted on two separate occasions when she was 12 years old. The incidents allegedly happened when she was spending the night at the home of her father's best friend in Limestone. The girl had become friends with another teenager who was staying at the home as well. Emma says the man attacked her on the couch after his family went to sleep. He had the crossbow to my head at the beginning and at the end. Emma says the man threatened to kill her and her family if she screamed or said anything to anyone. He ended up raping me that night and he literally was holding me down. I couldn't move at all. Literally that night I ended up having bruises on my wrists and my legs because he was pinning my legs down with his knees. Emma says she was too afraid to tell her family. Several months later, she found the courage to tell her mother, who went straight to authorities. No little girl should go through that. In 2017, the 53-year-old was indicted on six counts of gross sexual assault of a child under the age of 12. At his trial last month, Emma was ready to testify, but seeing her alleged attacker again was traumatizing. I was hyperventilating because I saw him. His face was put back in my head. Right before Emma took the stand, the prosecutor moved to dismiss the case. In a statement, District Attorney Todd Collins tells News Center, as the trial progressed, it became evident to the prosecutor that an ethical barrier to continuing the trial arose, causing the need for dismissal of the charges. Because the trial was already underway and a jury seated, double jeopardy rules barred a second trial for the defendant. Emma, who suffers from a seizure disorder and has memory problems, believes she may have mixed up information in her statements to prosecutors, leading to the case being dismissed. I wanted him to be put away so no other, no other girls get hurt. Dusty Homan Sprague is the associate director of the Maine Coalition Against Sexual Assault. We know that the criminal justice system isn't necessarily the, the route uh, to justice and healing for the majority of victims of sexual assault. The coalition works towards ending sexual violence through public policy awareness and statewide training. Sprague says every county in the state has sexual assault services available to help victims. Now we wanted to point out that was the Rooster County District Attorney Todd Collins giving us that statement. Now advocates say Emma's family can pursue a civil lawsuit against the alleged attacker. Emma, who will be starting high school this fall, hopes to start a nonprofit to help other sexual assault, sexual assault survivors, especially young victims. And we'll have more information, of course, on resources on our website and mobile app. Thanks, Vivian. Thank you.